Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm super excited about this video because I get to share with you my favorite shoes from my collection. Now, I recently did a bag collection video. I was so shocked how much you guys felt the same way with how important your handbag purchases are and how much they mean to you and how many memories they have and the stories behind everything. A lot of you guys requested me doing a shoe video in that video. So if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out up there. Today's video, I am really freaking excited to say that it is also sponsored by The Real Real. If you guys haven't heard about The Real Real, they're a luxury consignment store. So if you happen to be somebody who has high-end taste, but you don't necessarily prefer to pay those high-end prices, <laughs> or you want a really good deal on something that's very quality and also just environmentally friendly because you're not creating new waste and you're giving value to things that have been previously loved, which I definitely am a big supporter of. You can check it out. I'll leave a link down below to check out the real real, which brings me to my first shoe. It is my most recent shoe purchase and I am so, so insanely excited about it. The shoes that I got are from Louis Vuitton. And I have to say, right off the bat, as a disclaimer, I have really small feet. Not like a dainty size six or size five. I wear a women's size four shoe and it is nigh on impossible to find the different styles I'm looking for in a size four. So if I see it, I tend to jump on it, especially if it's really nice quality especially if it's just exactly ticking off all the things that I was really interested in. It's been a difficulty my entire life being able to find shoes that fit me in the styles that I want. That's why it makes it even more exciting to shop somewhere like The Real Real and see something like Louis Vuitton because like, I literally did not know they even made shoes in a size 34. However, I got so lucky. It came with the box, beautiful big orange box. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Here they are. These are the Louis Vuitton Wonderland Ranger boots. I cannot tell you how many years I have been looking for the perfect pair of combat boots in my size. Even if I look high or low or at kids shoes or adult shoes or whatever, for some reason it is so impossible for me to find a simple pair of black leather combat boots until now. These are amazing. I think they're so beautiful. Beautiful. One of my favorite aspects about them is this gorgeous turn lock. You see it has the LV symbol and then you just twist it like that and that's how you open it up and they lace up the front like normal combat boots. They have really amazing arch support so they were super comfortable right out of the box. I would say maybe because it has this strap around the top, I did have to break in this top part right here. So I had to wear them a couple times just so it would loosen up. But again, I think that's because they were brand new. When I got them, I've worn them a couple times, but even though I've worn them a couple times, the bottoms look so clean, right? When I got them, they were untouched. So maybe somebody bought them and then changed their minds about keeping them and never wore them just so they could get to me. I'm so in love with these, so happy with my purchase. I've already worn them so, so very much. If you do have more of a classy but edgy kind of style, which is sort of what I would picture myself wearing. These are really amazing shoe. I'm just so in love with them. The next shoes that I am so in love with are my latest purchase before those boots and they're also another pair of black boots. These are from Chloe and they're called the Rider boots. I have always wanted a pair of boots that have the little cutouts on the side ever since those Balenciaga loafer looking boots came out that had the cutouts. But else, I wanted something that maybe wasn't quite so heavy duty, but there just wasn't a style that came out that I was really in love with. When I saw these, the very first time I saw them, again, when I was like browsing on a site, size fours are so limited, I just search for my size and try to refresh the page and see if there's anything new every now and then. But when I saw these on the site, my heart 
just leapt from my chest because I just thought they were so beautiful, so edgy, so cool. I love the pointy toe. And I decided to get these for myself as my push present for having baby Ezra. I think they're a good purchase for baby Ezra. Ezra, thank you for letting mommy have some beautiful shoes. I like that they have a heel that's medium tall. I feel like these are practical even if you're a mom and you have to like pick up a baby or walk around a lot because it's a little bit elevated so it has pretty good arch support here but it's short enough that you're not just walking around on your tiptoes you're not gonna have achy feet I also am obsessed with this tongue here because it comes up very high but it's actually super super squishy and cushy so unlike the Louis Vuittons I just talked about these didn't really need any time to be broken in they were super comfortable right off the bat and they fit my feet right off the bat so if you tend to have feet that are on the smaller side or more narrow these are going to just feel super comfortable on your feet I also tried to google celebrities wearing these shoes and there were a lot of very fashionable looking photos of Jennifer Lawrence walking around in these so ever since I saw those I was like yep I want those on my feet right now now that we're on a little bit of a boot kick I feel like I'm just gonna keep riding that train these are some boots that were probably after those Louis Vuittons that I feel so lucky about these were my next luckiest boot purchase purchase ever because this is just the weirdest thing. I was browsing Nordstrom Rack. Being size 4, I have a hard time finding shoes in one of the few places I can find size 4 and search by size in store is Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. They are one of the few retailers, especially department stores, that even carry size 4 in the first place. I always just pop in and look at the shoes really quickly just in case something good shows up. And this is probably the most good that has ever shown up there in my entire life. These are some Gucci boots and they had a sticker on them that said they were refurbished, which again, I'm all about buying luxury pre-owned goods if they're in really good condition and I can get a lot of love and use out of them. I think that is just so amazing. And it's the only time I've ever seen anything refurbished there. So that was like the weirdest thing, but the price was also way more affordable. Also, check out the metallic heel. I think that is just the coolest thing ever, no matter what kind of outfit I'm wearing. I can wear these because they're just really simple, plain black, kind of like Chelsea ankle boots but then the heel just makes the whole outfit. I could be wearing something really simple and put these on and it just makes it look so cool. The heel is high but not too high where my feet are gonna be aching after I wear them for a while and I also believe these are a size 35 so they're one size bigger than what I usually wear but they still just fit perfectly on my feet and I'm really obsessed. I wear these all the time, especially throughout the winter. They just have elastic here, has a little logo on the back tab, so good. As I was pulling out these next boots, I realized I must mention to you guys this little doohickey. This is from Daiso, and it's actually a boot holder. When you're putting your boots away, you can just stick them into the boot and they'll stand up by themselves. Such a brilliant purchase. I think they're like a dollar or two from Daiso, and it's also really cute. Obviously, I would not be able to go through the boots in my shoe review without talking about these. These are from Stuart Weitzman. They're the over-the-knee boots in black suede. I think one of the hardest things for me when I'm looking for tall boots is that I can't find any that look really great on my little chopstick legs because I have little skinny chicken legs, and everybody knows that if you wear knee boots or over the knee boots and they're all baggy on the calf, it doesn't look great. And I feel like Stuart Weitzman is the only brand I've ever found that will actually hug my calves and look really nice and sleek on. And then these boots in particular have so many memories for me because they just look so dang good. I brought these with me when I went to London a couple years ago with Burberry and it was kind of like cold and rainy a little bit so these were the perfect boots to wear with some dark jeans with a big sweater on top taking a picture with one of those like red 
telephone booth. It was very iconic in my head and I really enjoyed these. I just like how they look in pictures, how they look in real life. They make me feel like I look taller, which is kind of a difficult thing to do at my height since I'm only 4'11", but I feel like these are the ultimate classic over the knee boots. Okay, we have now made it to my first pair of high heels. These I just adore. They're from Jimmy Choo. I have them in the black patent. These are the Lance sandals. I think that the little swishy pattern on the front is so pretty on the feet. Again, if you do tend to have smaller feet or narrower feet, these fit so well. And I especially enjoy Jimmy Choo high heels because when I put them on, they fit my arches so well that even though they're high, they don't feel as high. I can wear them for several hours and not hurt my feet. I actually bought these because I was invited to an event. They were doing something where they would take a portion of the sales and donate it to charities for this particular event so I knew I wanted to pick something out and these sandals were just so classic and just a beautiful silhouette it's just a plain black stiletto and it was actually one of my very first designer shoe purchases ever but I felt like it was a good excuse because I knew that a lot of the money was also going towards something really good I'm doing a big girl purchase and I'm also doing something to contribute to something greater I I just think these are so beautiful but I do have a little bit of a story so probably a day or two after I bought these I went to an event with one of my friends and it was like a big deal it was like a young Hollywood party type of thing and I lost both heel caps of these shoes I don't know if they manufactured it wrong but both of these heel caps got caught in between the little planks of some wood or something on the floor of the party and I came back and I was like I don't understand I have like metal studs sticking out the bottom I called them up and said hey you guys I just bought these and both the heel caps are gone and they were like oh my gosh that's really bizarre but let us fix it for you so I dropped them off at the store they fixed them up right away and a couple days later they had brand new heel caps on them and they have been absolutely perfect ever since it's just one of those fluky things where I was like oh did I do the wrong thing spending all of this money on a pair of shoes and then they like broke right away but rest assured they have treated me so well for very many years now. I've probably already had these shoes for maybe five, six years. And they still look brand new. They still feel amazing. And they fit my feet and make me look nice and sleek and tall, which we love. All right, so these next shoes are Valentino Rock Studs. They're the kitten heel size. I know a lot of people go for the really high heel one, but again, I think the most important thing for me is how much am I going to wear them to be comfortable for my height and what fits the best for my foot size. Sometimes different styles of shoes will be really big on my feet, so I've actually purchased the flats of these shoes before and could not keep them because they were just slipping off of my heels. But these kitten heels are actually really comfortable. They fit really nicely and they have a couple of different clasps, like three different buckles on the sides. So I feel like that made it maneuverable enough that it would accommodate my smaller feet. I think they're just beautiful. I got them in the dusty powder pink color, which I feel like is a really great neutral even though they're a shorter heel because they're pointy and because of this color blending in with my skin tone these kinds of shoes actually elongate your foot and make you look taller so that's always a plus especially for someone of my stature I love the rock studs on them these little pyramid studs are really beautiful and I definitely think they're higher quality than if you were to just get a cheaper studded shoe these don't fall off they don't move at all whatsoever. When I first bought these, I was really trying to debate between a few different colorways that did have the nude. I also looked at the black ones, but I felt like that would be a little bit too heavy for me because there is so much edgy studying on it. And then I also tried the kinds that were not patent, but I just really enjoyed the juxtaposition of the little bit of shine with the patent, with the non-patent trim, and then the gold detailing. So I've also had these for a few years and I still 
still really love them. Every time I wear them, it just makes me feel like I have jewelry on my feet. They're like classy, but I can still last standing through the night in them because the heels aren't too high. My next pair of high heels, these are a very special story because they aren't any crazy, fancy, expensive high heel shoe. These were custom made when I went to Korea. So the brand, it says in here, Giorno Venti. I went to Korea maybe about, gosh, it's probably gonna be seven years ago. And the thing is, again, at my shoe size, even at a size four, I cannot find a pair of plain, simple high heels that won't slip off my heel. My feet are literally that small that even if I buy the smallest women's size of high heels, they don't stay on my feet. <laughs> I can put all kinds of cushions and stuff in them and it's just a very frustrating process. So usually I have to buy things that have straps, a lot of ankle straps or straps across the middle in order for my foot to stay in on top of using extra like ball of foot cushions and heel cushions. So I decided to get a pair of custom made shoes while I was in Korea since I'm able to pick the exact style, size, everything. So I wanted to do just a really classic nude patent pointed toe heel and these are what I got made. And if you guys are curious, the Korean size is 210. That's my shoe size, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if that translates very well. Usually, if I'm shopping around Korea, the smallest shoe size that I see is 250, which I think is similar to a size five. So this is obviously considerably smaller, or maybe it's 225. You guys know better than me. You can correct me down in the comments. What is the smallest Korean shoe size you usually see walking around? It's definitely too big for my feet, but Korea has really amazing amazing shoe places where you can custom order shoes and it's considerably less expensive than a lot of these designer shoes that I've picked up in the past. But yeah, I just think it had a lot of personal meaning to me because these shoes were literally made for me. Now it's time to move on to maybe one of my favorite categories, which is so funny because I used to really not be a flat person. I think it was just a combination of feeling like they were a little schlumpy and then also feeling a little bit self-conscious because I was so short. And also like my husband is really tall. So when we first started dating, mind you, I was like 16 years old. I just didn't want so many height problems or so many comments from people about our height difference. But I think as I've been with him for such a long time, after having two kids, I kind of don't care anymore. I feel like this should be an entire video, just me talking about my journey with like my height acceptance. If you guys want me to do a video like that, let me know in the comments. I want to hear your feedback. And also if you guys happen to have small feet and are going through the same kind of problems as me, let me also know that down in the comments. But these shoes I think were one of my first fancier flat shoe purchases. You know, one of those shoes that really makes me want to grab for my flat shoes over any other shoes. These are from Gucci. They're the Princetown Mules and they're the kind that have the flower embroidered on the top of them. Actually, I believe right after I purchased them, like a month or two later, they really went up in price from what I purchased them at, but they are so well loved, so comfortable. I still wear them all the time. And I feel like it is another one of those shoes where if I'm just wearing something really basic, like a plain t-shirt and a pair of jeans, if I put these on, they look expensive. They make my whole outfit look a little bit more adult, a little bit more pulled together and classy. And that's what I love about shoes. Like I said before, it's a little bit like wearing jewelry on your feet. It's an accessory that I feel like really stands out and makes a difference. So, these are just my favorite loafer kind of shoe. I'm still on the fence about a full heeled loafer because I just feel like I don't know if I can pull off. I'm a rich man wearing smoking slippers kind of look, but this is the closest I have to that. I think compared to the plain ones, these are definitely a little bit more feminine and girly. I love the pop of pink and I also especially love this little heart. It has a little bit extra cushion and a lot of character. Next, I wanted to share with you my very favorite 
flat sandals. These are from Balenciaga and they were another really lucky purchase because I did my usual search by size for browsing through my normal websites and these came up as a clearance item, which is insane because again, I try to regularly keep tabs on the places that I buy shoes from and I had never seen these before. And especially again, I didn't think that Balenciaga made very many shoes in a size 34. I always love a great black shoe that I can wear all the time and I wanted to take a risk on something that would hopefully fit my feet and not slide off. These have been so comfortable and I've worn them so incredibly much. I feel like in your adulthood you get to this point where you look at your flip-flops and you think I need to grow up from these flip-flops. I need some adult sandals. And for me, these were my adult sandals. I love, I love, 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 love the studs on them. Obviously, I'm a sucker for some beautiful hardware. And these are great because they're in silver. So it goes with my silver jewelry. And I feel like it just goes with different kinds of casual outfits. I feel like these particular shoes, since they do have the hardware on them, they can go a little bit fancier or they can go a little bit more casual. I can literally wear like a band tee and jeans and wear them and they look great or I can wear something like a nice dress with them and they still look really great so they've been very versatile I love a basic black I feel like almost all the shoes I've talked about have been black but you know what when you're at my size range and it's hard to find shoes I'm so happy to just have the basics if they bring me a spark of joy I love Marie Kondo but yes one of the best sale designer purchases I've ever made. So good, I've worn them so, so much. And finally, I feel like I couldn't go through my entire shoe collection video without at least talking about one pair of sneakers because I do personally wear sneakers all the time. I am a mom, I am running after a toddler and an infant, and so I need something where I can just lift a 30 pound kid wearing those shoes. And most days I feel like I do just end up wearing a pair of sneakers. So I just grabbed one of my favorite pairs. These are from Via Spiga and they are gold leather. I know it's like kind of an extreme statement to make, but again, I like that they're just a little bit fun and I love a good gold pop. I feel like the shape of them is actually really classy. So I feel like it goes with a lot of my outfits that I wear. Like I would literally wear it with the outfit I'm wearing right now. Even though I'm like classy business lady, pair it with some sneakers and I feel like it's like good to rock and roll. And you can't really do that with a lot of other sneakers, but I just love the shine to it. They're super comfortable. They fit my feet, size four. They have a lot of little vents so my feet don't get like overheated or anything like that. And especially, you know, again, I've had them for a few years. So they've definitely molded to my feet over time. Very, very comfortable, very easy to wear, matches with a lot of my things and a good practical shoe to run after my small children. I guess we have reached the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Again, if you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you'll get an alert whenever a new video comes out. Y'all, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!